What's up guys, it's Ben here and welcome back to another day. Today's video, off to Villa Park once more. First of the season, we take on Everton. We usually get the better of Everton. I'm quietly quite confident for this one. I'm going to go 2-0 to the boys. Um, you're going to sense a theme in these predictions because I think Coutinho's due a long shot for us and therefore I'm going to back him to bag today. Um, and then also whatever striker starts, I don't know if it'll be Ings or Watkins, but whichever one starts, they're going to bag. Um, but yeah, first of the season, very exciting. It is very, very warm outside today. Extremely warm. Um, so yeah, let's let's sweat our way over to, to Villa Park. <laughs> Five minutes in and they've had a goal disallowed. Didn't say it was at the other end. It was Gordon. Disallowed for offside off a corner. He must have tapped it in or something like that. By the way, it's been 25 minutes into the season. It's fucking roasting here. And Villa haven't exactly helped us. Not been bad, but we've not done a lot in front of goal and we've given them two set pieces and they should have scored off both of them. One man in it was offside. The other one, I think we flicked on at the near post and Kamara, like, overhead kick cleared it. Like that, but it should never have been flicked on. It's not been, not been a lot going. The heat's probably paying a factor. It's not been paying as much attention as you want, but 26 minutes, nil nil. We're into a drinks break now, which I wouldn't mind a bottle of water. It's warm. Um, but yeah, hopefully the villa can turn up this next second bit. But yeah, 26 minutes, nil nil. And we have got the opening goal, it's Danny Ings with it, it's all a John McGinn. Absolutely incredible from our captain. He wins the ball back with a solid challenge. Lovely diagonal ball for Ollie Watkins, brings it down, nice link up to Ings. He almost fucks it, he gets back control of it, and I don't know if he takes a deflection or not, but either way, he lashes it past Pickford. Real good finish. I think it might be the first shot of the game, other than their disallowed one maybe. Could be first shot of the game, we'll take it. Danny Ings, it, look, it was the movement and the finish of the striker we signed a year ago. And he hasn't really shown that for us, so it's promising. Except the overhead kick. Well pointed out. Look, 33 and a half minutes in, 1 0 Villa. Wouldn't say it's looking great, but we've scored. We've, we've, we've done something. We've, we're better than the Bournemouth game already. Yeah, 34 1 0. Come on, Emmy. That's a terrible corner. Diagonal, it's got to go out there. See, so you've took too long and they've marked it. Creates it, finishes it, plays it for Watkins, squares it, tucks it in. And then off kickoff. They look a bit long. Run up the pitch, square it across. And Digne taps it into his own goal. And now they're, they're in. Iwobi. Okay, we fell apart. Corner to them. What the fuck has just happened? They score an own goal like two seconds after, the, after we've scored. We then score an own goal. And now it's squeaky bomb time. 88 minutes on the clock, Villa 2, Everton 1. They've got a corner. Only we, only us, man. Only we could go 2 0 up. And within five seconds, just instantly be on the back foot and look like we're going to fucking throw it away. What the fuck is wrong with this club? Villa 2, Everton 1. Bit of banter from us. Bit of banter from us. Mikalenko's going to take a corner for Everton now. Keep you with me for it. They fucking score. Mikalenko's ball in. Mins away. Falls out. Block one again. Davis. Kamara brings it down and Kamara not. That McGinn chases. McGinn chases. He has to score! He has to score! Villa 
to Everton won into 90th. And Tyro Mings saves our fucking asses. Went to the first of five added on. Mings has saved our fucking life. They're getting through Gordon. He shoots. The big man makes a big saving goal. He pulls. Rondon has a tap in and Mings throws himself in front of it. What a block. He did it at the end of last season as well. I can't be fucking. I'm shattered. It's hard work watching Villa. It's hard fucking work. Mings saves our asses. About three minutes to go. Villa 2, Everton 1. Mings has just saved a certain goal. Watkins has missed a one-on-one. -on -one. Bailey got one-on-one -on -one and should have scored. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Can this game just end? Villa 2, Everton 1. A warm but very very fun day out of Villa Park. Let's get straight into it. Um, I think I think we got a little bit lucky at times. I don't think that was the rosy perfect performance we were looking for. Certainly, I think we definitely could have done a lot more in both boxes. The goal we conceded was absolute crap. You know, to have scored and then five seconds later to have scored an own goal to give them the way back into the game, it, it was naff. And it put more pressure on us because I think if it stayed one 0 I don't think we'd have put. We'd have been under as much pressure as at a 2 1. We actually, by scoring and then them scoring, put them in a better position than they were at 1 0. But it's the Villa way, isn't it? Um, I thought Carlos and Kamara were absolute quality today. I think Carlos was picked up with a bit of an injury. Um, he went off crying or something like that. Um, I hope it's not too bad. I hope that was just Brazilian theatrics um, because he time wasted very well and helped us get over the line. Um, but Kamara, absolute warrior, absolute gladiator. I thought he was absolutely phenomenal today. Um, you know, been what we're missing by making tackles and, and, and feeding passes and things like that. Very, very good. Um, hopefully, you know, he can keep fit and he can keep doing what he's doing. So at the moment, he, he's, he's an absolute quality number six for us. Um, you know, really happy to have him around. Um, I thought Mings had a really, really good game. One of his best games since the Championship days for me. And I think part of that might be the lack of the armband, maybe the rest that he was given. Um, you know, he was playing week in, week out. But um, I think... The way he conducted himself, he played safe. You know, there are a lot of times where he could have tried to shield the ball out. He could have tried to play a risky pass back, but no, he, he put his foot through it, cleared the ball, then dealt with the resulting danger. And that's what I like from my centre half. So I think Carlos is very willing to do that as well. Um, but with Carlos out, I think it, it perfectly opens the door for um, Tyrone to take the left centre back spot again um, for a little bit if Carlos is actually injured. I, I, I don't know. Um, but no, I thought Mings had a really, really good game and he, he, he saved us. Towards the end, I think Rondon nearly had a tap in. Um, I think I over-explained it in the moment, um, but uh, the, the ball came across. Emmy made a save, and it, it, it was a race basically between Mings and, and Rondon, and Mings did really well to just sort of get a, a foot in the way, and, and Rondon sort of just hoofed it into his leg. And then it, Mings and Martinez were to stay down for another three minutes. I had a little sort of timer on my phone to check the added time, and obviously it was a minimum of five, and um, it, they played nine and a half or something like that, or over nine minutes, which credit to the, the boys for time wasting that so well. Um, we got over the line, we got over the line well. Um, I thought Ramsey had a really, really good game. Jacob Ramsey was fantastic today. Um, he's just got such an engine on him, you know, getting the ball, driving into space, picking passes, things like that. He's very, very good at it. Um, Coutinho quiet, Buendia came on and did really, really well in his position. I thought Watkins in particular, He's very frustrating to watch, but I thought he had a phenomenal game today. I thought he was really, really good. Um, you know, at, at chasing the loose balls, at bringing the ball down, at trying to link up two assists he got today. Um, other than the assists, I don't think he did an awful lot, but then neither any of the other attackers particularly. You know, Danny Ings, other than the goal, quite quiet. Coutinho, quite quiet. Buendia, other than a few moments of brilliance, we, we were obviously defending while Buendia was on the pitch. Um, and he was excellent, Emmy Buendia, absolutely excellent. But... We can't expect them to be on the ball 24-7, you know, winning the game for us. But when they were needed, Watkins, Ings, Buendia, to some extent Coutinho, when they were needed, they, they put out good enough performances to get us over the line. Um, to get, We needed to score two. They were going to score one. We needed to score two, and we did that. You know, and Watkins and Ings did their jobs in that well. Um, and then Buendia was in the right place to turn it home after creating the move. So, yeah, overall, a, a really pleasing result. Um, I think it's what... Palace next week. Um, it's obviously away. Um, I won't do anything about that. I've got a busy week. 
Um, but then I think the week after that, uh, it's West Ham, which we tend to do shit against West Ham. We tend to do awfully against West Ham in recent history. They just seem to get the better of us. So hopefully we can turn that form around and, and get the better of them. Um, hopefully a raucous Villa Park atmosphere. But yeah, we'll see how it is in a few weeks' time. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Let me know how it was in the comments, etc. Um, if you went to the game, um, anything else you might have noticed, because I believe it was on telly, so I think a lot of people might have watched it. Yeah, thank you very much for watching, and peace.